Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well, hopefully everyone is taking care of themselves. If you guys remember my mail time unboxing of a few vintage items that I got, um, I think there are a few things that I still have yet to unbox to show you guys in more detail. And one of which is this binder, if you guys remember this binder. So um, please don't be fooled by this label, it says Neo Destiny, but actually what this binder has is some Neo Destiny cards and it is a complete set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to readjust the lighting and also the camera angle so that we can take a better look at this. So yeah, it's a complete set of Neo Genesis. I know that Neo Genesis right now is a very popular set because of the elusive T17, Typhlosion 17. This isn't the first edition print, this is just the unlimited, but still I was very happy to pick this up before these prices skyrocketed. So with that said, let's get into the binder. Alright, so here we go. I have a top-down shot of this. I do want to get a rig where I can set up an actual top-down shot, but as of now, I'm just doing this by hand. Hopefully I can keep the camera steady, but let's get into this. And like I said, it's not Neo Destiny, it is Neo Genesis. So starting off with the front page, we start off with the holographics. So starting off with the very first one, we got Ampharos, we got Azumarill, we got a Blossom, Moving on to the for alligator, and I did check the condition of all these cards, and they're very good condition. Nearman lightly played, so and also before I did buy it, he did send me pictures of all the holographics. And thank you so much for taking the pictures of the cards so that I could see the condition before buying. But moving on to the bottom row, we have a jump bluff. Sorry if it goes out of focus, Kingdra, and of course we have basically the Charizard of the Neo sets, which is a Lupia. There it goes in focus. Moving on to the next page, we're going into the Meganiums. And what I like about the set is that they have two versions of each starter. So we have two Feraligators, two Meganiums, and soon you will see two Typhlosions. So we have a Pichu, we have a Skarmory. Try to get all these in focus for you guys. Sorry, it did take a while, but it did focus somewhat. Moving on to the Slow King. We have a Steelix. We of course have the Togetic or Togetic, however you want to call it. And of course we have the Typhlosion. And this is the T17 Typhlosion. It's not first edition, but I do actually have a first edition copy of this. So we have the Typhlosion right here. And the last holographic in the set is this Metal Energy. Now let's move on to the non-holographics, so we got the baby Pokemon, we have Cleffa, we also have a Dawn Fan, we have a Elekid, we got a Magby, Murkrow, Sneasel, sorry about the glare guys, I'm gonna try my best to kind of cut out the glare, we got a Apom, Ariados, and we do have a few first editions, as you can see right here. So we have a first edition Bayleaf, and underneath of it, I believe there is, or actually maybe not. I know some of them have a, like this Croconaw right here. It's the first edition, but underneath we have the Unlimited. So he did try his best to kind of include a um, first edition and the Unlimited, if you had any. But yeah, starting with the Bayleafs, we have two of those as well. A Clefairy, a two Croconaws, Electabuzz, a Flaffy and a Furt, Gloom, we got a Gramble, Lantern, Ledian, got Magmar, all of these right here. Moving on to the Quilava line, we have two of these, so two Quilavas, a Cedra. Skip Bloom, some Flora, Togepi, Zatu, and two Chikoritas. And moving on to the Chinchou, two Cyndaquils, Giraffe Rig, the best Pokemon. We have a Flygar, Hootoot, a Hoppip, Horsey, Ledian, or Ledaba, sorry. But I think these are commons now, so we've got Mantine. Reap, Meryl, just going down the list right here. Gotta show off the Pikachu for those Pikachu collectors. And we have these commons right here, just going through them. I'm like working with the light, so if you see the light move like here and there, it's because I'm actually controlling it behind the scenes. Just trying to give you guys a better look at these cards. 
arcade game or basically like the game corner in uh, Goldenrod City as you can see right there by the text if you read that if it focuses yeah eco gym and we're moving on to the trainers and classic Mary if you guys played the gold and silver or crystal games you would know that she always comes after you defeat Lance of the Elite Four for an interview but then never got to do the interview sadly Pokey here, Super Energy Retrieval, Time Capsule, Dual Teleporter, Professor Elm with the Cynical, one of my favorite artworks of this set. Such a cute artwork. And a few more before we end it off. So we got a Double Gust, Lumu Milk. Pokemon March, Super Rod, and of course we have the energy. So we got Darkness Energy, Recycle Energy, and of course we have the classic energies with the Neo Genesis stamp right there in the bottom corner. But yeah, that is it guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video. Um, hopefully you guys, you know, reminisce about this set. Personally for me, I wish I was a little bit more serious in collecting when I was younger, but obviously as a kid, you don't really get the cards to collect, you just get it to, you know, play around with your friends and stuff, so. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, this collection video of my Neo Genesis set. Because of this quarantine, as I organize my room and my stuff, I feel like I am finding more things in my collection, so maybe I can make a few collection videos. Please let me know what you guys want to see, I'll definitely try my best to kind of show my collection off to you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate everyone who watches my videos please like comment subscribe we're on the road to 200 subs and i believe we're only about like 25 26 away so please if you haven't subscribed i would greatly appreciate it thank you guys again and as always i'll see you guys in the next one